Hi, my name is Ellen Kelsey, and I think the thing we have to focus on right now is that the environmental crisis is also a crisis of hope. We need to actively challenge the tired narrative of environmental doom and gloom that reproduces a hopeless status quo. By focusing our attention so heavily on what's broken, we are reinforcing a starting line fallacy that makes us feel as if nothing useful has ever been accomplished and that all the hard work lies ahead. The number one way we learn about climate change and other environmental issues is through the media, and almost all of that news, according to environmental journalism research, is bad news. We rarely hear about environmental solutions that are working, and without a full picture, we easily fall prey to assuming the worst. Many children honestly believe the world may end during their lifetime as a result of climate change or other global threats. Indeed, the psychological impact of those feelings is so profound that it's recognized as a mental health and well-being issue by professional associations of psychologists in the United States, Canada, Australia, and other countries. When it comes to the environment, we need to focus on specific time-stamped content and on positive emerging trends. For example, a critical mass of people all over the planet now know about and are worried about climate change. 2019 was a record year for climate engagement thanks to the climate strikes. Now one in 10 people on earth live in a place that has declared a climate emergency. Stories change. Restoration is possible. We live in a world that is alive with 8.7 million other kinds of species. And we are not the only ones actively responding to the crises we face. Social networks between trees promote faster regrowth of forests, just as social networks of humpback whales have led to population recoveries in many parts of the world faster than scientists predicted. And those recoveries of populations of humpback whales and gray whales and other species of whales around the world are having a positive impact. More whales means more plankton and more fish and more trapping of greenhouse gas emissions. Far from making us complacent, stories of resilience and recovery fuel hope and counteract cynicism and emotional paralysis. Remember, emotions are contagious, both face-to-face -face and online. The more we engage with trends that are achieving meaningful results, the more hopeful we feel and the more we spread those feelings to others who will in turn amplify those transformative solutions. Hope is what sustains us to keep fighting for social and ecological justice. Hope is not complacent. It is a powerful political act.